a stock market slide, new travel restrictions, big reactions to a newly reported variant. So what do we really know about Omicron? We tried to find answers to five common questions. Here's what we found and what we don't yet know. First, do current vaccines work? So we don't know for sure whether or not this particular virus will be resistant to our vaccines. We still have to do some experiments in the lab to confirm that. And that's very easily done. We just get the sequences for the virus and then we can test in the lab whether or not antibody responses induced by our vaccines are going to be able to neutralize it. So what if we do need a new vaccine? Several vaccine makers say they're studying the variant and could adjust their formulas if needed. Moderna, for its part, says it plans to advance an Omicron-specific booster candidate. Three, why is the World Health Organization calling it a, quote, variant of concern? This variant has a large number of mutations, and some of these mutations have some worrying characteristics. So how will we know if the variant is in Washington? The first thing that has to be done is, is, uh, is to develop a diagnostic test to accurately be able to detect this. It's unclear exactly how long that will take. Finally, is it more contagious? more dangerous? The WHO says we'll have to wait and see what studies show. There's a lot of work that is ongoing in South Africa and in other countries to better characterize the variant itself in terms of transmissibility, in terms of severity. Some of the work to get those answers will be done here in Washington by researchers and labs at UW School of Medicine. Eric Zuko, King 5 News. And looking live at SeaTac Airport now, it's still unclear exactly how these travel restrictions will impact us here in Western Washington, in a statement, SeaTac says it is, quote, taking a very close look at the situation and will be monitoring it as it unfolds, end quote. King Fest Ted Land will have a live report tonight at 630. Well, as Erica mentioned, testing is underway to, to determine whether our current vaccines are effective against this new strain. If you are considering getting vaccinated or looking for a booster dose, the State Department of Health says demand for vaccines is especially high right now. Booster doses for all adults were approved about a week ago. According to the latest data from our state, more than 74 percent of those 12 and older are fully vaccinated. If you'd like to find out how you can get your COVID-19 booster shot. Just text the word booster to 206-448-4545 and we will send you a link with much more information on that.